please welcome Captain James Blunt. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome. Welcome, James. Welcome to Happy Hour. What a pleasure it is to have you on the show. It's very good to be here. Thanks for having me. I, do, I have to say, I'm going to get this out of the way, right? I really love your posh accent. I love it. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think you're, you're one of the first. <laughs> Just say hello for me, like that, gone. How do you do? Oh, that's... <laughs> I love it. It's fantastic, isn't it? Brilliant stuff. And see this. See, that's why posh people ran this country for so long, because it sounds so great, you just do whatever you tell us. And it works a treat in the States as well. Really, does it? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but actually, it's a, this is a cool chat show question, number one. Your name isn't really blunt, is it? Um, I just thought I had to choose a name that rhymed with something offensive. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> change it from anything harmless to, you know... Give... Duck. You could have called you James Duck. <laughs> That would have been no fun. No, but what's your actual... What is it? What is it? It's blount, isn't it? Is that right? It's actually... No, it's, it's spelt B-L-O-U-N-T, but so it's it is... Blount. It is pronounced blunt. But it's pronounced blunt, so you've yeah. got... You'd spare count, everyone to bother. If you... Count would be wrong. Count would be wrong. Because <laughs> I've met some real counts in my time. <laughs> You're not wrong. There's no doubt. But yours rhymes with curry. Yeah, it does. It does rhyme with curry. That's right. Curry and chips, the staple diet of the British Army, of course. We've got the Red Devils in. They should salute you about now, shouldn't they? It, you, in fact, my dad was a commanding officer at Netherhaven, where, where those guys work. Really? Yeah, once upon a time, he cut his fingers off in a lawnmower. Uh, and which, <laughs> I mean, and then, yeah, so, you know, the regimental salute actually became like that. How did you parachute into action with the lawnmower, though? How's that? You know, where the army don't get much funding nowadays. <laughs> You are such a star, James. You were the, you were the biggest... You, uh, you, I'm, I'm so excited having you on the first show of the new series. It's so exciting, because you're a huge, biggest selling music star of 2005, aren't you? Yeah, um, remarkably, really. No, 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 not at all. I think what you do is brilliant. I think it's amazing. I think it's brilliant. We love it, don't we, Lundgren? Like we love it. <laughs> all right? The missus played it to death, but we love it. Don't we? <laughs> Well, you used to... I mean, one straight missile, and I'd be talking to Robbie Williams, wouldn't I? Because you used to be in the army, didn't you? I was in the army, once yeah. upon a time, yeah. Yeah. What, what regiment was that? I was in the of Cavalry, the lifeguards. You are a lifeguard? So, with the training for that, you put in the army and then you'd jump in the swimming pool and try and rest... <laughs> <laughs> bit of mouth-to-mouth. Bit, mouth. bit of mouth-to-mouth. Mouth. You know Pamela Anderson, then, was she? Uh, <laughs> she's good. Now... <laughs> running in slow motion down the beach on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right in thinking you guarded the Queen Mother, is that right? Yes, yeah, she was dead then, actually. Um... <laughs> That's leaving it a bit late um... to guard her, isn't it? <laughs> so the job was relatively simple. Yeah. Uh, but, but, yeah. She's no, not I, was, off, I stood uh, vigil at the, uh, at the Queen Mother's funeral. Yeah, which was, not, you know, which was a really sad old day, but a, really a part of history, really, wasn't it? That's an amazing thing, yeah? Because people think of you just singing your songs, but there you, you, you did that, and you went to Bosnia, am I right in thinking that? Yeah, I went to Kosovo uh, in Kosovo. 1999 during the bombing campaign there as a reconnaissance mm. officer. I worked a lot with the Paris as well out there. We were the first ones across the border then. The you were the first into Kosovo? Yeah, exactly. Because that Yugoslavia situation is very complicated, wasn't it? Yeah, and still ongoing, actually. It's yeah, still yeah. a bit of a bug it's as well. very complicated. And a while back, we bombed it to make it simpler for him, but... <laughs> Can't argue about who lives where when there's no houses left, can you? Just you And you... So what was the setup? Did you have, like, a tank? You drove around in a tank and all that? I had a little tank. Yeah? Not very big. But I'm not a very big person. And, no, you don't uh, have a big tank, do you? No, exactly. And uh, I look bigger with no clothes on. Uh, and... Uh... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a, like a four-ton tank, whereas a yeah. main battle tank is about 77 tons, Right, so you had the, like, the titchy one. And the, the, the thing I read is that you took your guitar with you, didn't you, to, to, to Kosovo, yeah? Yeah, I did. Um, and, you know, everyone takes something to entertain themselves. Uh, some yeah. people take football uh, or right. backyards, and I took a guitar and I was brought out as a performing monkey occasionally... Really? ..to entertain people. So you would go peacekeeping with your guitar? Singing, you're always saying is give peace a chance. That's fantastic, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> you can just see him now, the Kosovan's going, Blunt's going to sing, forget it, it's not worth it. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh. A thousand years, it's not worth it. Yeah.
But the what I like about you, James, is because we get we meet we see a lot of pop stars on the telly, don't we? Who say they've shot people and they know how to kill people. I'm a killer. I'm a killer. They got all that. I'm a killer. I shot a guy. I shot nine times. <laughs> I killed him. I killed that man. I kill you. I kill you. Is that right? Fifty. Yeah. What's his name? Fifty p. Fifty percent. Of course, he's like, I'll kill that guy. Was you just call for an airstrike, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> or you say, Corporal, do shoot that man. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but what I'm interested in is there you are, an army serving a Majesty Guard and a Queen Mother in state, and she was in a state. How do, <laughs> how do you go from that to Captain James Blount? Yeah. <laughs> Been James Blunt International singing sensation. How do you make that transition? What I happens? I slept my way to the top. You slept your way to the top. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair play. See, because I got this program by accident. Now. <laughs> this, is great, this, is a, this is a great story. This is a great story. You, when you first went to LA, you lived with someone really famous, didn't you? Yeah, I lived with uh, Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher. Really? Was my uh, was my you know, my landlady. Really? You lived in her house? Yeah, I did. <laughs> All yeah, she gave me. She, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? That? Yeah, she gave me a, she gave me a lightsaber and I have a she put a cardboard cutout of herself outside my bedroom uh, to protect me at night. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's brilliant. That is amazing. Could have given me a condom, but. <laughs> <laughs> now her house is very unusual. Is that right? I understand the bathroom has some unusual features. Has a piano in it. There's a piano in the bathroom. Yeah, which is where I recorded one of my songs from the first album. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. One of the happier ones. Yeah. yeah. You get a number one or a number two? <laughs> so I can... But your most famous, the reason you shot the fame, the reason you captured the public's imagination is that is the beautiful song, isn't it? The old beautiful. That one. The one that goes like that. Beautiful. That's, that's yeah. magic. Beautiful. That's... Not again. Beautiful. Yeah, but what you're hearing is. <laughs> that is a wonderful song. It's a wonderful song, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. It's a sad song. Isn't it? Yeah. What was it actually about? It's about an ex-girlfriend and... Yeah, it was the ex-girlfriend and I saw her with her new man on the underground here in London. And, and you know, we caught eyes and uh, lived a lifetime in that minute, but we uh, didn't say anything and, and haven't seen her since. That's an incredible story. Press the money stand. You are right. The most... <laughs> the most amazing thing about that story is that you were travelling on the tube. <laughs> Not on horseback or something. Now they... <laughs> and that's the number one wedding song, isn't it? In apparently, the country. apparently so. You, did you feel good about that? That every wedding there you are singing these people through there. Yeah, poor old them. I can only apologise to them. I, but I, um, I, I don't know. I think. But I'm also uh, on my new album. <laughs> I have a. I've got uh, songs for bar mitzvahs and uh, and one for divorces called "I'll Take Everything." <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. And it's opened lots of doors for you, though. Being a, being a big music star, it's opened many doors for you over the, over the years, isn't it? I mean, you sang at Elton John's wedding, didn't you? A lot of back doors. Yeah, a lot of back doors. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... But there's another door that's open for you, of course, was the door into the uh, swimming pool with the nine naked ladies in it. Is that a true story? I read that there's you in a swimming pool with nine beautiful women. Is this true? Yeah, it is true. Um... <laughs> It didn't go as well as I'd hoped, actually. The water was very cold. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, they were heterosexual at the beginning. They were all lesbian by the end. <laughs> I don't believe that for a minute. Do we believe that, ladies? No! All the ladies went, no! Then... <laughs> Do we believe that, ladies? No! Yeah, there you go. See, that's that dealt with. Now... <laughs> you're off the at the moment, yeah? I'm off to Glasgow tonight. Really? Yeah, on a world tour which uh, goes on for a year. Fantastic. We'd love to catch a tour, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah. We'd all come. Why not? That'd be fantastic. <laughs> no, it's, it's such a pleasure to meet you. I've, um, I've actually got a little present for you. I don't know if you know this. There is now a new limited edition James Blunt Action Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, check this out. To you. In fact, oh. not only that, James, 
I've got something to go with him. Here we go. To go with him, I've got the special tank. <laughs> the tank that goes with him. Look at that. There we go. And it's got, it's got your guitar on the back like that. Like, your guitar on the back. And look, look what's inside. Oh. <laughs> Nine beautiful ladies. How about that? James Blunt there, ladies and gentlemen.